Hello, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the History Department Durham Sixth Form Centre. Firstly, I would like to introduce the team. So my name is Marie Harrison and I'm Head of Department. We also have two other full-time members of staff, Laura Ellis and Eleanor Cosgrove. We cover three topics in total for the A-level. Um, unit one is our breadth study. We look at USA, the making of a superpower, which goes from 1865 to 1975. This is a thematic study. So we look at how politics has changed across the period. We look at economy and society, and we look at the changing role of America in the world and foreign policy. For Unit 2, The Wars of the Roses is a depth study, so we look at 1450 to 1499, but we do it in a lot more detail. We cover the reigns of Henry VI, Edward IV, Richard III, and the very start of Henry VII. Both of those topics are taught from the start of Year 12 all the way through to the end of Year 13. The NEA or the coursework is our historical investigation. This is um, an independent research project and we cover the topic of the Tudors. So it has to cover 100 years um, and students will independently research and write this with obviously a little bit of structure and framework from staff. The assessment of the course is two exams at the end of year 13. Both exams are two and a half hours long and they consist of essay questions. As well as that, in the USA um, paper, one of the exam questions is about extract questions where students have to evaluate the interpretations of historians on that topic. In Unit 2, Wars of the Roses, one of the questions includes a source question where students have to assess the value of contemporary sources. For the NEA, it's worth 20% of the A-level and it's done at the end of Year 12 going into Year 13. Um, and as I said, it's a 4,000 word essay that students have to do kind of relatively independently with just some support from staff. We have very good results in the department. We started teaching the reformed A-level in 2015. And as you can see from the results behind me, the results that we're very proud of. I have left off 2020 and 21 as they were not set externally um, and under normal circumstances, but they are in line with the results that you can see. The consistently positive VA shows that students and the cohorts have achieved their aspirational targets, um, which is something that we are very proud of. Thank you for listening and I hope it helps answer some of your questions.